and I'm currently doing M Pharmacy. I'm in final year. So uh, my topic is design synthesis and evaluation. Still, uh, right now I did designing and uh, of the antimicrobial and the uh, antioxidant agents. So uh, recently I'm focusing on antimicrobial agents. So uh, we have taken both uh, gram positive and gram negative okay, bacteria. And also the antifungal agents. So in gram positive, uh, I did my talking in LVD. So first of all, the introduction: Why I choose this antimicrobial agent? Because we know that recently the uh, very much use of antibiotic has been seen. So uh, antimicrobial resistance has been seen, uh, and uh, like uh, class four antibiotics has also gained resistance. So uh, the need of new antimicrobial uh, agent is required. And uh, next we talk about the antioxidant agents. So we know that the major disease which is cancer and uh, free radicals are mainly responsible for the uh, and tumors also. So if we talk about the antioxidants, so that is why because they are the free radical scavengers. So uh, that is why I think the uh, major combination and I have taken the uh, cell uh, ring, the major ring, which uh, the pashtun moiety which is present over here is thyroid shift base. So why I choose this is because thyroid shift base are the uh, are very much compatible with all the uh, they give uh, multiple pharmacological effects like antimicrobial, anti-tumor, antioxidant, and all these class. And uh, so first of uh, next we will discuss about the methodology which I have opt for. So I did my docking studies on molecular uh, molecular virtual docker. And uh, apart from MPD, I did the two three D QSR studies. So all of you might be knowing about the QSAR, which is quite, uh, I think uh, each and every one might be knowing it. So quantitative structure activity relationship. So in 2D and 3D, uh, first of all I did the uh, structure making on 2D and 3D. Then I did the energy minimization. And uh, using this value state uh, software for my 2D, 3D QSAR, in this uh, I, uh, I just uh, took the IC50 value of the reported compounds and uh, in the software what I did a uh, leave one out method was uh, used in this uh, 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 out of total 19 compounds which I designed so uh, leave one out method was there in which 13 in, in the ratio of 70 to 30 I divided that uh, just to know that which functional group is better for the docking results which I am going to pre uh, synthesize further so uh, in this method what we take what we do it, uh, we take all the descriptors, topological descriptors, qualitative descriptors, and which tells about that whether lipophilic uh, group should be there or not, or hydrophilic group should be there. And it also tells that uh, like electron donating or electron withdrawing groups, which, which group is favorable for my docking studies and which will give the better activity. So it gives a relation. And uh, also I did a uh, 2D, 3D QSR using hands analysis and Fujita Bay uh, in the software uh, with the test and uh, test and uh, training set. And uh, the descriptor's value should be like the pi value which is the Hans constant should be positive. Uh, it was coming and the regression coefficient value was coming 0.9 which shows that it shows a good relationship between the independent and the dependent variables. Independent variable was my IC50 which I took from the reported papers and the dependent variable was uh, the activity which I need to see the topological activities and various factors which were affecting uh, which I, the compounds, the substituents which I had to take for the docking studies. Uh, then further uh, I have described a table over here. Over there uh, the uh, doc, uh, doc scores have been reported and these are the various substituents at the four positions of my shift phase. And uh, it is having a thyroid and the main group, which is the shift phase at the center. And uh, the topmost dog scores are taken because it shows the what exactly docking is. Docking is the interaction, uh, the uh, most favorable interaction between a ligand and the tar. So the uh, most uh, highest dog score shows that the, it's the most stable and the energy is minimized. And this compound will be showing uh, much more better activity. So in my docking results, I did the separate docking uh, by taking the standard drugs such as ciprofloxacin for antimicrobial gram positive and amino pyrazinamide for gram negative bacteria and for antifungal I took uh, fluconazole and uh, these were uh, and uh, I took 3 PDD IVs over here 2XCT which is for gram positive 4B6C and uh, 2XCD the uh, target was tocomycin marase 
and for 4P60, gram negative bacteria, target was DNA guys. And for antifungal, 3LT6, the target was 40 alpha dematitis. So all these were uh, all the docking results were compared with the standard drugs. And uh, ciprofloxacin was taken for gram positive and for gram negative, I mentioned aminopyrazinamide. So the dog score of these drugs were taken as standard and the dog scores of 99 compounds were matched with that. And uh, three compounds showed much better activities as compared to the standard drugs. In gram positive, 18 compounds showed better activity, and in gram negative, compound 15. And in uh, antifungal activity, compound 3 showed the uh, good highest dog score. So, further, I will proceed for the synthesis of these uh, top design, uh, top uh, uh, compounds, which shows a better model of score. Then I will go for the essays. Um, and uh, this was the procedure. In docking studies, I saw the hydrogen bond interactions and all those ligand interactions. Uh, I did the validation also as you can see in the picture, docking validation validate the PDB and also our uh, software which we are using. So, uh, like uh, I took the PDB's uh, ligand and uh, I draw the same structure in the camera to me. And then I uh, dock the, both the structures and I match the interaction with the dock score. This is what is called docking validation. So as to validate the software and the PDB which you have been using from Protein Data Bank, RCS Protein Data Bank. And uh, through this, uh, uh, till now I have uh, designed the compounds which I will proceed for synthesis. Thank you. So thank you, Anjali. Uh, firstly, <coughs> it seems good, but uh, I should first guide you regarding the names you have written in the title that uh, your guide is uh, written on the first place. Uh, it is your place because you are the presenting author and she has guided you. Uh, so you should write her name at last. Okay, presenting author always comes first. Okay. And he, is, or he or she is actually the person who has one. Yeah. And at the last point, no, I, it is simply taken from literature. No, uh, these uh, 2D, 3D QSA has been done by taking the PIC 50 values of the previous mentioned paper. Then I design after analyzing making QSAR star structure activity relation. But for QSAR, if you are using how many compounds you have made? at least 20 compounds you need to perform uh, QSAR. So firstly you should mention this, okay? And then you have uh, performed talking for all these compounds? On that basis I design my compounds. Your own compounds on yes. the basis of QSA. Yes, QSA was showing that sigma has to be positive, bulkier group should not be attached. Okay. So on that basis, I designed my compounds. Okay. Electron donating groups. How many compounds you have designed? 20 compounds. Okay, fine. Then, with all 20 are subjected to molecular docking? Yes. Okay. And how many compounds are you planning to synthesize now? Top 10 compounds. 10. You will synthesize in how many, uh, how much time do you have to uh, perform your future work? 4 months I am having and oh, now it's too short. I started the uh, like essay techniques I am doing like uh, I performed DPPH uh, for antioxidant and AVTS. So like I am taking for the standard the case copic, gallic and uh, uh, kojic acid, these three standards for antioxidant. So I already performed these uh, for the uh, standards. The standards. All you and compounds have yet to be synthesized. Yes. What are shear space? Shear space are imine moiety which are uh, the uh, alkene uh, group attached like amide, we can say, carbon and nitrogen. Okay, thank you. Bye.